Weather Center Live. I'm meteorologist Leona Brackett. And I'm meteorologist Julie Martin. You know, across the Northeast, bracing for yet another round of snow. Across portions of Tennessee, all around Nashville, over toward Knoxville, where there's perhaps some heavier rain. Kentucky also getting a little bit wet. And this is kind of the precursor to more of what is to come as we head into the evening hours. So if we track this out, you can see some of that Heavier rain per se comes into Nashville around 9, 10, 11 o'clock tonight. Uh, you'll see a couple of those heavier bands moving across Tennessee, which is actually a good thing. Tennessee in quite a, a bit of drought, so this is actually welcome rain. Uh, but we'll see that rain continue to push on moving through cities like Birmingham and Atlanta by the time we hit Saturday morning. This is a look at 6 a.m. and you'll see Again, a couple of pockets this is not a super impressive amount of rain at all coming across the south, so don't worry. It's not going to ruin your entire weekend, but nonetheless, if you have any early plans tomorrow in places like Georgia and Alabama, you'll see some showers out there, but the good news, it's going to be clearing out by the afternoon, and by the time we hit 3 o'clock, look at this, Atlanta, Birmingham, back through Jackson and Little Rock, certainly Nashville, you're basically in the clear, and that whatever is left of it starts to just basically fall apart at this point. So how much rain are we talking about through tomorrow evening? In general, about an inch really across the map. If you look at the green areas here, up to an inch from the Carolinas, up back through Kentucky and through Arkansas as well. And uh, maybe a couple of pockets where we could see some heavier showers. But again, not going to be a total washout for your Saturday. Over to you, Liana. All right. Thanks so much, Julie. So now we do have a return to wet weather across the West Coast. So starting off with what's actually happening out there. So we have this upper level disturbance that's going to be luring over to the Pacific Northwest. That's early this weekend. And then we start seeing a lot of moisture lifting up ahead of that cold front and it's tapping in to a little bit of a warmer wet pattern and notice so we aren't really seeing that much snow for at least the first system we get brief drying late this weekend before the next system brings in more moisture and this time that's when we can expect a little bit more mountain snow across the cascades and the coast range so starting off with this afternoon we see seattle portland medford getting in on the action as well starting off very wet this afternoon and evening it continues and starts drifting a little bit further south into northern california eureka getting in there boise Missoula, you're also staying wet. We see some snow developing as much of Saturday, Saturday afternoon and evening before things really kind of dry off for a little bit. But again, that's that brief break before we see the next round of rain. Now we do have some flood statements out across the Pacific Northwest. And here you go. You have about an inch possible stretching all along the entire West Coast. Some spots a little bit higher at two to three, even three to five inches. So just the thing is the warmth really kicks into gear as as we get into early this week, we may even see a few records fall. So the setup here, what's actually happening outside? We have a high pressure that's starting to build north. It's currently over the hot four corners and it'll be continuing to inch over towards the southeast as we get through this weekend. Low pressure continues to skirt on outside to the east, but all that cold air will actually retreat to Canada as high pressure continues to dominate the southern half of the country. And by early next week, that continues, but then we have another cold shot coming in for the Northeast. So here we go across the board. We're looking at highs about 10 to 30 degrees above average. It's definitely going to feel very, very warm. It's going to feel a little bit very different, actually a very kind of a rude awakening because we've been so chilly. We had that nice little cold shot and now we're going to see these very different 70 in Memphis by tomorrow, 67 in Atlanta, 83 in Dallas and Midland. We're talking about temperatures getting close to 90 degrees as we get into Sunday and into Monday. We'll check out Midland by Monday, 90 degrees, 87 in Dallas, 81 in Corpus Christi, 79 in New Orleans, 57 in St. Louis, 58 in Wichita. And that continues all the way into Wednesday. These very warm temperatures, especially over Texas. That's where you'll see those really warm spots. If you're getting sick of the snow, you might think of heading south because you, you can't really be 80 degrees in New Orleans. We're talking 66 in Atlanta and 62 in Memphis for Wednesday. Closer look at Atlanta. Here's our five day forecast where our average high for this time of the year is 65 degrees. We'll flirt around it for this weekend, 67 for Saturday, 62 for Sunday. But once we get into Monday, that's where we're going to see those 
temperatures really warm up. We're talking about a 10 degree warm up, if not close to 20. As we get into Tuesday, we're flirting near 80 degrees and dropping back down to 66 degrees by Wednesday. Right, we've got uh, the cold weather, we've got the warm weather, and it flip flops back and forth. That's exactly what we're going to be dealing with over the next few days. So we're going to take a look now at Chicago. So Chicago, your average high for this time of year, right on St. Patty's Day, is around 47 degrees. 46 will give it one degree or so. So by March 15th, that's what we're looking at. And then we creep up into the 50s as we get later on in the month. That's what's typical out there. So taking out to the big map now, you see the bulk of that warm air is still far from you. It is off to the south, stretching all the way back into places like Denver, where you're at 79 degrees. That's the forecast for tomorrow. So we still got the 40s holding on in and around the Great Lakes for tomorrow, which again, that's about average for you. But then by Sunday, we start to see some green show up on the map. That is the warmer air that's filtering in, and that will include you in Chicago as well. So a brief warm up, but then we've got another quick blast of Arctic air coming in around the Great Lakes as well by Monday into Tuesday. Uh, back in the 40s again for you in places like the Twin Cities and in Chicago. But we'll see some of that cooler air start to filter south as well into St. Louis, Kansas City, where temperatures are going to be back to more average like instead of this crazy up and down. So here's a look at uh, Kansas City right now, and we're looking at an unbelievable 80 degrees. That could uh, certainly be at or close to a record. I'll have to double check on that one for Sunday. Back in the 70s to start off the work week, but then we have that dramatic drop back into what's going to feel cold, but really not. That's really where you should be about this time of year. So more uh, up and down weather to come here in the Midwest and throughout much of that area. Coming up, though, we're going to talk about how another shot of rain and storms could actually cause some problems for uh, saturated portions.